Prada, Gucci. Hmm. You want to be starting something? You got to be starting something. How disrespectful can you be? How disrespectful. Oh, I don't want to hear it with your apologies. As if you didn't know that blackface is a racist, racist statement. Just today, the famed fashion house Gucci is apologizing for selling this sweater that appears to mimic blackface. Twitter exploded. What the hell were they thinking? Went one post. Gucci announced today that the sweater is being yanked from the marketplace. Gucci deeply apologizes for the offense caused. The rival high-end fashion house Prada pulled these keychains that look like blackface dolls. When did this happen? Just two months ago. Now, it is 2019. And you want to apologize? Oh, you didn't know. Oh, okay. Miss me with that. Miss me with it. Come on, people. Come on. We really need to wake up. There is no respect for you. You are the salt of the earth. They want to take from you. Season up their industry. Season up their music industry. Season their food. Season everything with you, my black people. And disrespect you at the same doggone time. But like T.I. had mentioned in his outrage over the situation that took place. They welcome to the barbecue, but their chicken gets no seasoning. <laughs> None. So they apologize. Well, you know what? Not ap Apology is not accepted. No more. We, we do not accept your lame apology. Because it's 2019 and it's Black History Month. I mean, really? I, you know what? I, oh, y'all got my pressure up. <laughs> y'all got my pressure up. But don't, you know, don't let it do. You know what? My people, America. When I seen this black face sweater and this keychain from um, Gucci, a product was the keychain, I believe. <sighs> and all the other things that are going around, I just feel that they, they know what they're doing. And it's only to incite you, my black people, only to incite you to violence. Violence. Yes. I don't know if most of you have heard the reports about the black choppers and the military exercise that took place over Los Angeles last week. And more breaking news. Low flying choppers and loud explosions leave people shaking tonight when a military exercise catches people by surprise. And CBS 2's Tom Wade is live with more on the story tonight from downtown. Tom? Yeah, Jeff and Susie, this is kind of a weird one, and it scared a lot of people. It all happened just out here on Wilshire and Vixel in this spot where I'm standing right now. The flares were out here, and take a look at some of this video. You'll see some of the choppers they brought out, military-grade choppers. Now, the Army put out a press release saying that they wanted to enhance soldier skills and use urban environments to kind of simulate the real thing. And, of course, downtown L.A. and Los Angeles has a lot of those features that they can use to do that. But take a listen to what's some people heard here tonight. Yeah, that kind of sounded like real gunfire, real bombs, real explosions. But again, all precautions were taken according to Army representatives. And they actually spoke with the LAPD and other representatives from the city. They said everything was above board. They took care of notifications of residents as well. But when you talk to some people out here, they didn't know about it. I can just see helicopters drop in, helicopters move, and then you can just hear boom, like flash booms. And then every now and then you would hear a couple booms on, I think it was that building over there. You knew what was going on, but yeah. you thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a good, you know. What were they doing? I, well, I mean, you have the helicopters flying between the, in between the, uh, the skyscrapers, and then you have people come out, and then they, it's just a drill, you know, it was fun. They had the, the bomb drop, it was a fake bomb drop, but it was super cool. 
So as far as we know, we don't know the exact locations of where these are happening, but we're told they're going to be going on from February 4th to the 9th here in the area. Reporting live downtown, I'm Tom Waits, CBS 2 News. They wanted to train to see how it would be to do an urban assault in a real live city setting. So they basically had training right over Los Angeles. I keep wanting to wake people up, but sometimes by me wanting to wake people up, I'm like, well, dang, am I the one seeing stuff that's not, am I imagining it? No, 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 I'm not imagining anything. Something's coming, people. Something this way comes. <laughs> and it's big. It's going to rock your world okay what I, I talked to you guys um, last week about the government shutdown well we're going into the last week of basically finding out will the government be shut down again for 2000 I mean um, on the 15th of this month February we'll find out and I, I made a video where I talked about the King Alfred's plan, Rex 84. And hopefully I, I, some of you got a chance to look at that video. And within that video, I talked about martial law, which is basically one of the, um, the implements that will take place if Rex 84 was to be established and the, the president was to say there was a national crisis, martial law would be enacted. I truly believe there's more to just this black face and the disrespect. I believe it's to incite more racial violence. They want you to fight each other and then put more grease into the frying pan if they shut the government down again. That's just agitation. You're mad, you're mad against each other. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's unrest. Well, you know, Trump said it best. There's a storm coming. You guys know what this represents? What? Tell us, sir. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Some of you don't want to believe that, but there's a storm coming. Are you ready? All right, much love. Who's love? Who's love?